Now, you say this is better than a bike. Why is that? Because uh, bikes uh, have some uh, problems engineering-wise. They have too short a wheelbase and too high a center of gravity. This machine is much longer and has much lower center of gravity. Plus, of course, you don't get wet. <laughs> well, that's some uh, other engineering aspect. <laughs> You've got to convince car drivers that it isn't going to fall over, and you've got to convince motorbike riders that it isn't going to fall over. So, go ahead. Basically, the concept is a motorcycle with an enclosed cabin. And if you have an enclosed cabin, you cannot put your feet uh, out of it. So, uh, we have this uh, outrigger stabilizing uh, wheel system. What if you forget to put your wheels down? You won't forget it. Huh? Right, the stabilizers are up, so we're now in bike mode. Well, I was expecting it to be terrifying. It's kind of like sitting in a car. You forget that there's only two wheels propping you up. Oh no, someone's nicked the wings. Ooh. I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At remarkably low speeds without it falling over. The latest project is to build a turbo version which will do 197 miles an hour. But this was fast enough for me, even though I had an expert pilot, Mr. Wagner's wife, Mrs. Wagner. You don't feel the speed, really. You feel it much more in a car or on a motorcycle. You can drive over 200 kilometers per hour and you feel very comfortable. And... That's 120 kph. 140, that's very nearly 100 miles an hour. Six inches from the ground. Wow! You know, if you're a... A biker who's getting a bit big round the middle, maybe squeezing into your rubber trousers is uh, getting a bit difficult these days. This one might just be the answer. We've got quadraphonic sound, we've got everything. The only trouble is, of course, at £50,000, it's quite an extravagant toy. 